Hello, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so I will get off to a little. Uh, I'll explain exactly what's going on, how we're this week. I am still trying to get a interview or some sort of a like for a for the podcast of this week. Um, I'm going to try to aim for Thursday. I've got a lot of work to get ahead of. Um, there's still some stuff that I need to work on on that on that part, but stay tuned because we're going to try to have something this week. Uh, so, anyhow, without further ado, we have. Um, uh, teachers going, uh, indoctrinating kids again, um, and teachers not having none of it. You know how when the whole, the only good thing that COVID has really brought us was the actually exposure of all these, uh, far leftists and pedophilic, uh, teachers? Well, that's what's happening now. So, we're going to be doing this. Here we are with parents suing over claims teachers, uh, claims teachers encourage their sixth grade daughters to join LGBTQ club, but to keep it a secret. Girls were told if they were not happy in their bodies, they are transgender. Two Colorado families are suing their children's school district over allegations that teachers and Kim and shitters encourage their daughters to join an LGBTQ club and keep the activities a secret from them. America First Policy Institute and Illumino Legal filed a lawsuit on Wednesday against Pro Dre uh, School District on behalf of Jonathan Aaron Lee and Nick and Lilia Jurek, whose sixth grade daughters attended Wellington Middle School, according to a copy of the lawsuit obtained by the Daily Caller. The activities of the Gay Straight Alliance were not known to the parents, and those who headed the club's meetings actively encouraged students to keep talks about polyamory, puberty blockers, genderism, gender identity, sexuality, and suicide, and name and pronoun changes a secret from their parents. Teachers are also invited to substitute uh, teacher Kimberly Chambers, who is executive director of the Supporting Pride Learning and Social Happenings, Splash, uh, organization that seeks to educate school and age children on topics of sexuality and gender identity. Talk at the one of the GSA meetings, which Lee's sixth grade daughter attended, according to the lawsuit. Chambers reported, reportedly told the uh, children that if they were not completely comfortable in their bodies, that means that they are transgender, while giving a talk to the school children on May 4th, 2021. Oh boy. So the teachers also had a, also had children discuss what gender and sex they are, are attracted to and gave students LGBTQ paraphernalia such as toys, flags, and other swag uh, uh, if they came out as transgender. Uh, the teacher told students that there were as was a, was a higher likelihood of suicide by transgender youth, but the family but the Lee family says their daughter did not even fully understand what suicide was at the time. Chambers was also repeatedly told students it might not be safe to tell their parents what happened at the GSA meeting or talk to you about gender issues, and instead she just they speak with her or other teachers. She offered students her phone number and told them to connect with her on Discord so they could contact her at any time. This is what I'm talking about, people. Um, if if the transgender, transgender thing is such a benefit, it's so great, and what have you, um, why do you have to find the need to hide it from parents? Most of the things that we would think that would deem okay or healthy for uh, for a kid or anybody for that matter, you wouldn't want to hide it from their uh, from the parents or their family because it is a route to recovery, it's a route to save people. But in all reality, it's they're hiding it from people, so that makes that raises a lot of suspicions. It doesn't really take that hard to really think on what could possibly what could possibly be if they're just hiding things from you. It's a uh, insanity, I say the least. Gillies were excited that their shy daughter was asked to get involved in school activities because she had not been given any many opportunities to make friends. But they are but they were alarmed to find out that upon returning home from the meeting, she told them she would be transitioning despite never having had any thoughts about transition before the meeting. Their daughter has since has said that she no longer desired to transition, but endured a month-long emotional decline of gender and sexuality confusion that required counseling, and included suicidal thoughts, according to the lawsuit. Good job, because you teachers do know that this cause is uh, suicidal thoughts and everything to the kids. You just don't care. You just want that um, that grift. You just want that clout, which uh, you don't care about kids. This is why these people never care about children at all. They're just disgusting mongrels. The Jurek family is suing because their daughter was subject to a lot of the same treatment as the Lee's daughter, where students were told by WMS art teacher and staff sponsor of the school-sponsored GSA club, Jenna Reap, that if they did not like their bodies, they were most likely not the gender they were assigned at birth. In addition, Reap uh, encouraged the secrecy of the in suspicion about whether her parents could be trusted with these discussions, and invited Jer the jerk's daughter to attend a meeting with the Splash, the organization that Chambers was associated with. Following the meeting, their daughter began to have their suicidal thoughts and started leaving notes to her parent for her parents about transgenderism and stating she was ar aromatic and asexual. In the fall of 2021, she started to question her gender identity. 
After her experiences at the GSA club, her relations with her friends deteriorated, and she was not comfortable with the idea of potentially taking classes with Reap, according to the lawsuit. The daughter's well-being underwent a significant decline to the point to where she asked to be homeschooled. She eventually attempted to take her own life by drinking bleach, and has since verbalized that, she, that her disturbing motion to the state began when attending GSA at VWMS. Yes. So, uh, yeah. This is the reality that we are living in, ladies and gentlemen. That uh, we are going to be facing these issues, bound and bound over time again, because of the reality that we just that uh, uh, that they want to hurt our children. They don't really care about our kids. They don't really care about us. They just want to uh, do them as a test experiment, uh, which is not really too much of a surprise here. The reality of this point meaning is, is that we have come into the, uh, we co have come to this to where it's okay to do this to people, especially kids, and, uh, there's going to be no repercussions for it. The lawsuit is indeed needed, and I think that more parents need to push, uh, need to fight against this. <sighs> I will not use this video to say completely hating on women or whatever because I don't want to really constantly repeat myself. But the reality of the matter is, is that I will probably have a standalone video at some point, probably in the podcast, because it will make a little more sense onto what I'm talking about here. Uh, but the reality is, is that we need to stop this from happening. Regardless of whether women are voting for this or not, it needs to stop happening. Because... The kids are in danger. We're threatening our kids. We're threatening the lives of everything. And one thing, big thing that I learned from my family as of yesterday is that um, cowardice feels and speaks for them. If we're worried about the left coming after us, that's what the left want is silence and nothing else. Why do you think they're trying so hard to silence and do some things? There's also there's some things on YouTube that I will probably be going over maybe in the next video, give or take, because it needs to be explained and talked about. Because the reality is, because here's the, th the point is, is that we need to get my our voices heard and everything out. And the media and these big corporations are trying to silence us to make themselves feel better because they're not because they're making garbage. When you are too afraid of the left and they, everything that is around you, you start to lose everything that you cherished and loved. We cannot have cowardice. I understand some people's positions and some things they cannot sacrifice for the country. I understand that. But at this point, if you do nothing, you're letting everything bad happen to your children. You think that your vote counts? Whoa, that's not the only thing that counts. There are things that you have to do to fight back. And the reality is, this is something that we have to fight back against. And if we don't, we're going to lose our kids in a very bad way. We won't have a next generation because they'll be either transgender or be killing themselves in a very high number. And I don't want that to happen. I don't ever want it to happen. But we can't stand by and let it happen. That's it for you guys. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care.